sort of gone from maybe a bit of a uh, party circuit <laughs> to people choosing which wineries they want to go visit and, and spending more time there. Even with restrictions and capacity limits lifted throughout the province, most Naramata Bench wineries are keeping their reservation for tasting systems in place for the foreseeable future. It was something that we started in 2020, um, kind of forced to, of course, because of COVID. Um, it was something that a lot of the industry actually wanted to put in place and it was never nobody wanted to be the first one to kind of do that uh, but COVID of course forced us to to look at it a little differently. The reason why it initially started was just to make sure that we didn't have like we would be able to maintain our capacity uh, limits in the tasting room and we found uh, that it worked super well and we were able to spend more time with people and give them uh, better, more personal experience. The advantages to booking a tasting or tour for the winery has been shown over the past two years. That whole system of having people make a reservation, I think it's nice to show up to a winery and know that there's a time and a space that's dedicated just for you. Um, so with our reservation system, our tastings are now a little bit longer. Um, so anywhere from half an hour to 45 minutes to an hour, you really get to sit, you really get to learn um, because we have more staff staff have more time to really explain exactly what people are tasting. The advantages of the reservation system is, I mean, staffing is the first one. We can kind of see how busy we might be on the day. Um, and then we can really uh, balance the staff to a customer ratio and give our, you know, give a great tasting experience. While the wineries will continue to offer tastings to walk-ins when they can accommodate them, the busy summer ahead suggests bookings are your best bet. From what I've heard, uh, like Airbnbs and that sort of thing, hotels, the reservations are way up, so I think it's going to be a busy summer overall. You know, in years past, around a tasting bar in a winery, it might have been three or four people deep, and everyone might have tried a splash of wine, but no one really got to know anything about the winery or the wine they were drinking or anything like that. And now it's uh, much more personal. It's nice to keep it, and I don't see reservations going anywhere in the next for the next few years or foreseeable future. For Gas Amp News in the Naramata Bench, I'm Casey Richardson.